Alright. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the um, MFJ DX Beacon Monitor. For those of you that are wondering. Now, this thing, I'll explain it to you in a nutshell. It has a built in atomic uh, clock receiver, the MFJ 890. So. What this thing is, it does if you're in a ham radio, like you got your general advanced or extra license, and you talk on the HF, there's the 18 beacons around the world. And what they do is for like, um, like 10 meters through 20, because they're kind of literally bands, they, um, these beacons will let you know where you're open or not. What the beacon does, see like one in Russia's on right now. So, what they'll do is they'll shoot 100 watts, so identify their, you know, call sign. Then they'll put four long dashes, 100 watts. Then I think it's 10, one watt. Then I think it's a uh, half of a watt, if I'm if I'm correct. So like, say for example, if I okay, I'm here in Pen in uh, in uh, North America. So say if I hear one in Japan, then I know I can reach 100 watts. Like here, perfect. Then I know I can make it. The bands open. I can reach over 100 watts. So. With this beacon monitor, I'm gonna you know get down to it. it, it when you do buy this thing, you're gonna know that it doesn't come with an instruction manual because MFJ is taking a cheap route, and it is pretty much all plastic, all plastic. Um, so I'll, I'll show you basics. So when you buy this thing, you're gonna get um you get a 12 volt wire for it that you put in your power supply for your radio, or you get, which I had to do, you had to buy separately the, the adapter you plug in the outlet, which is the one I had to order. Now with this, you got the manual sync and you got the atomic, which will do the atomic clock. And then you got the, you know, megahertz, the 14.1 megahertz, which would be the 20 meters. And you got 18, which is the 17. Then you got 21, which is the um, 15, and 24, which is 12. And then you got 28, which is the 10 meters. So, like, say for example, I'm on uh, 14100. So, if you go down the CW portion at band, you go to this one, that's where you'll hear the beacons. It'd be better if you do it in Morse code. So, see, like, for example, I can. Alright. Pretty basic. Now, there's something else that they don't, that they cover in the instructions, but I haven't seen a video on YouTube I want to show you guys. You notice right here I have four screws. Uh, oh, oh, hang on, I just dropped one. Okay. Okay. Alright, excuse me for that. Now if you notice, it'll be these ones. Alright. You don't want to take a screwdriver, you want to take out the four ones closest. You do not want to take these out. You want to leave these intact, otherwise you'll wreck it. So you want to take these, these, and these out. And what you want to find very carefully now is open it up. As you can see, you see? Let me show you closer up. The four bolts right here that you took out even when here. Now what this thing does have on the inside, and you want to be very, very careful because you got very thin wire. You don't want to, you know, I, I know I shouldn't have plugged in, but I have, you know, already set, so I don't want to plug it. But you see I have the, there's a thin wire here and stuff, so you want to be very careful. Now this does um, optional, excuse me, nine volt battery. So say I have it to my power supply and I turn it off and this is going to go off too, but this battery if I put it in there, you know, it's optional, it'll keep the data. Well, you keep track of the beacons. Same thing like the other day I had power outage. We see my emergency light video. I, you know, so this way there's 9 volt battery is going to keep it. I want to do a video to show you how to install this. So of course, you know, comment, since you're going to, oh, hang on, oh, hang on. I want to gently set it down. Not the breaker burn anything up. So you want to gently pop that on. Okay, and then you want to gently, very gently, see if it'll fit. Oh, hang on a minute, what the heck is this? How kind of a setup is that? That yeah okay then that makes sense and it will hold it so you want to make sure all wires are good. Watch that capacitor. You don't want to get electrocuted. Very gently put that back in. Oop. All right. Okay so all right that's about it. And, you know of course you want to put your uh, 
your screws in. Make sure you got everything aligned. Now I recommend that you change that battery out annually. That's just my recommendations. And you leave this going for, you know, you let it sit for a couple hours, it'll get in the sink. Plus, the, having that 9 volt battery, if you have it hooked to your power supply and you turn it off, it'll, it'll um, keep the data. Especially if you have a power outage like I had the other day. If you watch my video, uh, Real Power Outages Emergency Lights. Which I want to do more videos about that in the future, too. So, oh, uh oh, yeah, I got some glue there, but, gotta watch. But, oh, I'm not gonna finish the screws right now, but as you can see, that's pretty much about it, pretty much the basics. So, that's it. I hope you enjoy, and I hope you find this video very useful. Please be sure to subscribe, and have a good day.